everyone, I am Nithi Khandelwal, Assistant Professor in Bihani Group of Colleges. Uh, today I am deli delivering a video lecture on renormalization, uh, which is a part, uh, a topic of a database management system. Uh, so let's start about what is normalization and why we use normalization. Uh, basically, normalization is a technique of organizing data in a database. Uh, no normalization is a, uh, a, uh, a systematic approach in which we uh, decompose a table we decompose a uh, larger table into smaller tables uh, to uh, reduce redundancy and insertion, updation and deletion anomalies. Uh, basically, uh, normalization is a multi-step process in which we split a large table into smaller ones and uh, or also uh, define the relationship between them to make uh, clear clarity about uh, organizing data. Basically, uh, normalization is used for mainly two purposes. Mainly two purposes. First, to reduce, uh, sorry, to eliminate redundant data and to ensure de data dependency make sense that is data is logically stored. Basically, normalization is used uh, to uh, reduce redundancy means duplication of data and also ensure that uh, data dependencies make sense uh, that is data is logically stored in a database. Uh, so uh, normalization have various forms which is defined in database management system. Basically normalization forms are are defined as first normalization form, second normalization form, third normalization form, after third BCNF that is BC code normalization form, after that fourth NF which is fourth and, uh, normalization form, form and last one is fifth NF that is fifth normalization form. Uh, so let's discuss, discuss about all these normalization form one by one. First we take first normalization form. A relation or a table is in first NF if all the uh, key attributes uh, means all, all the attributes all the domain uh, domains or attributes have only single atomic value. In the first normalization uh, form we check that each row or each column have only single value of an attribute. Uh, Let us take an example. We have a uh, suppose we have a table supplier table. We have a supplier table table in which we have uh, five columns and their data Suppose we have a table supplier table in which uh, we have unnormalized, suppose we have a re uh, relation supplier which is unnormalized relation because in uh, this uh, relation we have double values in a single column. So uh, after first normalization form that relation table is
we separate product number 1 and 3 in a separate single row without any repetition. I think we have value 40. Uh, so, after uh, first normalization form, we have the relation is as, uh, where we have two values in a single column, we separate these values in a single uh, row, which is, uh, we can uh, uniquely identify each and every column by using primary key, which is serial number. So, we have a relation which is in now first NF. So, uh, let us uh, talk about second normalization form a relation is in second normalization form if it is in first normalization form and every non key attribute is fully functionally depend on a key attribute that is uh, we have remove we have to remove partial functional dependency there is no partial functional dependency and we can re remove partial functional dependency by uh, by uh, dividing a table a single table into two or multiple tables or by merging uh, two or multiple tables in a single table uh, so let's take about uh, the example which we take earlier we have supplier table in which we have We have these five uh, columns in a supplier table. So, uh, there is a partial functional dependency in this table because there, there are serial number and pin num product number both are dependent dependency on quantity. Quantity is fully functionally depend on serial number and product number both by using only a single attribute we cannot find quantity because quantity is fully functionally depend on serial number and product number. So, there is fully functional dependency. And uh, let us uh, talk about city. So, there city we can f identify city by using only serial number because uh, uh, to find the column city we cannot we cannot uh, we we, uh, we have no requirement of the product number because uh, we ident identify city col uh, city column by using only serial number so there is partial functional dependency because city is depend only serial number city is not depend on product number so there is partial functional dependency So, uh, we have to remove this partial functional dependency by splitting this table into two or more tables. So, we split the table S into S1 and S2 which is in this table S1 we have serial number, product number and quantity columns and uh, the tables S2 we have serial number, city and pin code. So, here after splitting a single table into two tables there is no fun uh, partial functional dependency. The, so, in second NF we have to ensure that there is no partial functional dependency in our table. After uh, second normalization form we talk about third normalization form.
In second normalization form, we have two tables S1 and S2 and in S1 we have serial number, product number and quantity. And in uh, S2 table we have serial number, city and pin code. So uh, in third normalization form we have to ensure that uh, the a relation is in third NF if and only if the relation is in second NF and there is no transitive functional dependencies. So uh, let us we check uh, here that there is transitive functional dependency or not. So, in uh, table S1 there is no partial, there is no transitive functional dependency but in S2 there is uh, transitive functional dependency, there serial number dependency on city, city is depend on serial number and pin code is depend on city. So, indirectly there is serial number dependency on pin code, so there is transitive functional dependency. because uh, city depend on serial number and pin code depend on city. So, indirectly serial number dependency on pin code. So, there is transitive functional dependency and in third normalization form we have to remove transitive functional dependency. Uh, so, we remove transitive functional dependency again by splitting table S2 into two or mul uh, more multiple tables. So, we again split this table into two tables that is serial number and city and city and pin code. So, after splitting table S2 into two more tables S3 and S4, uh, there is uh, no transitive functional dependency because we separate these columns in two separate tables. Uh, so, uh, in third normalization form, we remove transitive functional dependency and we check that the table is already in second normalization form. After uh, when the table is in second normalization form, form, then we apply the conditions of third normalization form in this table. Uh, so, um, uh, uh, so uh, if you like our video, then please like, subscribe and share our video and also subscribe our video channel. Thank you.